morning everybody. Are we ready for a walk, Lacey? Come on then, let's go. So we've come down the, the hill from our house a little bit. And we've not done this walk before, so we're going a little bit exploring through a wood. Where hopefully we'll see some nice bits of nature. Oh, buzzed up there. Missed it. Never mind. There's a really pretty little stream that runs down here. And all this red sandstone. Most of this area is sandstone. Just press, let's see if we can get lacy. Yeah. What's that? Is that a path? Is that the path? That's not the path though, is it? It is. There's the wooden is it? steps. Oh, right. Okay. Lovely. Let's go up here then. This is the path. I just wanted to see if they want, if Lacey wanted a little swim, a little paddle. No? Mm. Let's do the wood then. Come on then, girls. Ian? Yeah. You swap them over. Kent, well, you've got the lead. Okay. Lacey. Thank you. Yeah, the wood pigeon in the background. So oh, this is pretty. I love little tracks like this. You. Off you go, Kags. Look at the blossoms on this tree. Oh, look at that. What unusual shapes. Oh, 
I'm just going to pause here because we've got a couple of um, gates to navigate. So that little that little fence and stile took us into a a ploughed field that was full of bullocks. So we've turned around. It's a public footpath, but obviously if there's bullocks in there and you've got dogs, you don't want to don't want to be doing that. So we're going to go back and walk down the lane a bit further. This. Do you think these plants are, are these bluebells? We'll definitely come back here later on to see the bluebells when they're out. And the blossoms starting to poke through. Look at these tiny little leaves. All the buds are budding. That's a good stick, Cags. Cagney, that stick? No, oh, I'm so bad at picking sticks. She rejects so many of them. Cagney on? Yes. Yeah. Boo. Stacey and I are going to go for a little drink. Ooh. Wonder who lives down there. Perhaps no one at the moment. But that looks like an amazing set. Come on. Have a drink, Lacey. Have a drink. Come on. Uh, no, you're right, Mum. It's good. Oh, yeah. I'll have a drink. Have a drink, Cags. Have a drink. Have a drink. No, too interested in what else is going on. So in the winter, these lanes, if it snows heavily, these lanes get filled up. You know, they, it, it, it can come, the snow can come really high. I'll post some pictures later of the snow that we had. Was it two years ago? Yeah. It was unbelievable, wasn't it? It took him an hour to get to the bloody pub. It took him an hour to walk to the pub. <laughs> it's only 15 minutes away. And instead of walking on the lanes, he walked through the fields because what happened was all the snow blew off the fields and then sort of ended up in these deep lanes. And um, we were all buried in for a bit. Some pretty primulas. In the hedgerows, lots of ivy. There's some snowdrops.
I've just spotted a little feather. Whenever I see a feather, I think of my friend Lindsay and she knows why. Look at the um, cherries. Oh yeah, look at those. They look like flowers. They look like enormous blackberries, don't they? Or grapes. Ian's getting really involved in this now and pointing stuff out for me. Oh, what are these? Is that these? Is it cornflower? No. no How beautiful is that blue? That's so gorgeous, that blue. They're not snowdrops, are they? They're, um, well, they're something else. Oh, look at those. I love the sound of a stream. I'm gonna... Oh look! Do you think they're rabbit runs or fox runs? I think I think they probably share them. They share them. Yeah. So you see this little sort of oh a bird just flew past it. It's usually big enough for a badger. I don't know if you can let me zoom out because maybe it, it's better if I zoom out. So just from the lane back here, you can see this little pathway that's been created. And it's it takes you straight into the fence line under the fence. I'm surprised the dogs haven't been sniffing around there. Mind you, they're sniffing at everything. Just do a little zoom back and look at the views. Dogs get very confused when I stop, they don't like it. I'm going to stop here and then come back to you when I see something interesting. Oh, yes. Do you think that's rabbits? Got something in there. There's someone else. We shouldn't be peering into people's houses like this, it's so rude. must be so easy to dig, mustn't it? Because it's just sand. Look at this under these tree roots. That's a perfect place to hide as well, isn't it? Oh, I can't stretch that far. Gorgeous. I'm going to add on some little interesting bits as we carry on. But for now, stay safe and look after each other. Couldn't pass by this fella without showing you what a tremendous set of legs he's got on him. And how much fun if you're a little creature must it be to play around in his undercarriage? Isn't it incredible? All the nooks and crannies. What's up there? Ooh. And he's just clinging on. It's a big, 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 big tree. Just clinging on to the side of the lane. I'm going to call him Klingon. He's called Klingon now, that tree. <laughs>